squad hey it's bianca from plan love budget how are you today welcome or welcome back to the channel so i am doing a voiceover if you couldn't tell from the fast movements that i'm doing and maybe the quality of the voiceover hopefully it's not too bad anywho i feel like at least in my videos i don't know how everybody else is i feel like you can kind of tell when they're doing a voiceover versus live it just sounds a little different but anywho um yeah it is now like <laughs> January 10th <laughs> um and I'm now doing a voiceover for this I guess I completely forgot about this video but anyways so I've been watching a lot of people youtubers doing their like oh my new budget you know my binders for 2024 challenges for 2024 and, da -da -da -da. and I was like oh that's really cool and everything and I didn't get new binders um I, I kept the, the same binders because they're kind of new to me um I've only started budgeting cash budgeting like in 2023 I think it was around May maybe a little bit before May but around that time anyways so but I was watching people like get rid of some of their challenges that they didn't finish and da da da, -da. and at first I was like no I want to finish up my Christmas and winter challenges because I did get winter challenges too to do in January and everything but then I was like no I did a giveaway for savings challenge games and I really wanted to start the new year with the game especially with people who won the giveaway you know they can play games with me and that was like the whole point of me picking games as a theme for my giveaway so anyways I really want to do games and then I got some stuff from budget with Ira as well that I created a different, um, whole new binder for him as well. Kind of like how I do with Donna. Um, so yeah, it's game time. <laughs> That's my savings challenges. A lot of them are games. I still have my big book of savings. So there's going to be some regular savings challenges or like holiday themed challenges. Like I started bringing in Valentine's Day savings challenges, springtime, that kind of stuff. Because some of the challenges, if they're a higher denomination, I kind of wanted to get a head start with. So, yeah. So, you guys are watching me take all my money out of these binders and changing up how I'm doing the savings challenges and everything. You will see a video with all the money that I saved for this um, that I'm pulling out. I think it was like 1300 something it's all going into my video that I'm doing with um, Budget with Ira. Not with him, <laughs> please. I'm a nobody. <laughs> no, um, his binder that I have, I got some savings challenges. And I'll explain which ones are those and how we're going to do it and everything else like that. Because I already filmed it. So that money is going in there. And that's where I got the money from is pulling all of the all of these older. They're not even old savings challenges. The so Christmas and winter ones. I don't know. I guess, like, it's still snowing out, like, in Colorado, like, it's cold, we're still in winter, but I'm just like, no, nope, we're moving on, <laughs> apparently, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video, um, I am off today, I'm so excited, Vince is at work, so I have the whole tiny to myself, which is nice, um, I just had a call, lazy boy, about delivering our love seats. We got Humanities, um, what is it called? Something Humanities. It's the donation one. I am sure every state has it. Habitat for Humanities, that's what it is. Um, they're going to come and we're giving away the couches, the two couches that the previous owner left here. They're still in good condition. Um, they're also getting a lamp and some nightstand tables and that kind of stuff. So I'm super excited that our furniture is being able to donate to a good cause because Goodwill isn't bad, but other people can buy from Goodwill. You know what I mean? And I feel like the CEO just ranks so much money versus like the employees that work there and everything. So I'm glad it's going to like a donation that's meant for, you know, providing homes for the homeless or women in need and that kind of stuff. So Hubby already set up that appointment, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, then we'll redo the carpet. 
because like I said before, maybe um, the previous owners had dogs. I don't know if it was one or more than one, but I know they had a dog and there's some stains and everything. And the cats have been okay. Like they don't smell dog, which is nice. We tried our best of as far as um, vacuuming the carpet. We didn't clean it because I don't think there's much padding underneath, to be honest. And I knew we were going to replace it. So I didn't go out and purchase or rent those carpet cleaners. I probably should have, but I didn't because we're replacing it. So it is what it is, but the cats were okay. I was worried about them freaking out or trying to see if there was a dog anywhere, but I guess the dog scent is gone or they're not bothered and they know that there's no dog because it's a tiny house. <laughs> you can't, you can't hide a dog. So that's what's going on in the future because obviously I filmed this on New Year's Day. Orientation went well. The move went well. We were very lucky. I think on the drive we only hit snow once and that was it. It was a beautiful day when we had to unpack the truck. It was also the same day that we got internet, which is awesome. So yeah, orientation went well. The first week went well. I did get sick on Friday just cramping and super nauseous so unfortunately I had a call out which is like a bummer because it's to me like bad first impressions but Vince went they were very understanding oh look this is the book this is budget with Ira this is the binder for some reason um a lot of those was digitals when I printed them I don't know why what happened but the envelopes printed smaller don't ask because I don't know I really don't know why. Sometimes with my on my printer, I can hit A5 and it prints and it prints, I feel like smaller than an A5. Then there's the actual denominations. I don't know. And then sometimes if they, if I bought say an A5 challenge and I accidentally forget that it was purchased as an A5 challenge and I go and I hit print and I change the size to an A5. It shrinks it more. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So still learning about my printer, but this is going to be the new binder for the savings challenge games. I'm super excited. I already went ahead and already played it. That knockout game, mm, budget and chaos. She, <laughs> that game kicked my butt. Oh my gosh. But anyways, it's super fun. I try to get all A5 size because I love my A5 binders, but there's plenty of room. I'm able to put the spinners, which I'm going to call it the, um, yeah, spinners that I have for the games in the binder too, which is really nice. And then for saving with Shalanda, I did end up hole punching it. I was thinking if I should or shouldn't, and I thought it was going to be easier if I just hole punched it and put it in the binder versus like taking out each individual challenge out of an envelope so I ended up hole punching it I don't know if it's on this video or not but I'm trying to get all the twister game pieces and everything I think I was trying to figure out if I wanted to use the mini or the big and I ended up with the mini because I haven't played that one yet I think it is a different denomination than the big I didn't really confirm it um the small one I think was 100 and I think the big one was 165 but don't quote me because I still have the big one. I just don't have it next to me. But anyhow, I'm super excited with it. I love how everything turned out. So I hope you guys are excited about the new year. Let me know what you guys are going to be working on and what you guys are going to be doing. Um, as far as other challenges goes, um, I can talk about it real quick since I'm going to get ready to set up Donna's book. Because um, I took out all the Christmas challenges or I will be here. <laughs> out of her book I didn't finish them I know I'm sorry Donna don't don't be mad at me please I wanted to do I have so many scratch offs from her like it's not even funny <laughs> she has her own envelope full of her challenges that I haven't started in a, well it's still in a bin because I haven't fully unpacked yet but yeah it's I have a lot of scratch offs so I'm excited to bring her scratch offs back but anyways um forgot what I was talking about. Okay, story time. So on Friday, our first week there, I ended up being cramping and just not feeling good and just nauseous and just the whole nine yards, right? 
So I unfortunately had a call for work. So this paycheck is going to suck, but it is what it is, right? I can't be working in surgery nauseous as hell. It's not going to work, especially for 12 hours. So anyways, around nine o'clock, this guy comes up to our door and I'm in the bathroom, of course. And I look at my phone and the blink thing pops up because we had the blink camera, ring camera thing. And I'm looking and I was like, there's this random dude. And at first I'm like, what is he doing? And I didn't want to talk to it because A, I never tested the talk thing. And B, I'm in the bathroom. Like, I don't want to talk to you. I'm in the bathroom, like on the toilet. That's just, mm -mm. but then he's char he tried to see if the door was unlocked. And I was like, oh, hell no. So I called up my husband who's at work and I was like, pay. And I'm telling him what's happening, right? And I can't send him the video of the Blink video. At least I couldn't figure out how to. So I just took a screenshot and I sent it to him. And I'm still watching the Blink camera system. So I can't hear what the guy's saying. Because then he's on his phone. He goes to his car. Brings out this furniture thing. Puts it on my porch. Goes back to his car. He's still on the phone. Comes back. And I'm like, I think he's at the wrong house. Like, who's bringing furniture, right? Like, that's just weird. He only scared me because he tried to open the door right that's what scared me like I don't know who you are why are you why are you touching my doorknob right that's why I called my husband but when I realized like oh he's at the wrong place he went into his car he took the furniture off my porch went into his car and ended up going to one of the neighbors so I was like okay this is like he's obviously at the wrong house like I can you know I'm okay now everything's fine da, da, da. Vince still told charge what was going on <laughs> and she was like why don't you just go home <laughs> And figure it out and he was like okay bye so that's what ended up happening Vince came home a little bit early from work on Friday due to the fact that I was just like freaking out a little bit but once I figured out like he was at the wrong place and everything else like he didn't come back and bother us but it was just weird like I don't I don't know just don't touch my doorknob like that kind of scared me <laughs> anyways other than that it's been super fun super safe here it's super quiet i have no other complaints um accidents happen you know it's just like i think if i was going to visit even if i knew because i feel like if i knew that person i still wouldn't touch their doorknob unless like i'm talking to them and they say oh the door's unlocked come on in like i don't know that was just that was the only part that was weird and of course me being in the bathroom i have no way of defending myself like and just in case he was a burglar, but he wasn't. So everything's fine. But I thought I would share that story because I thought it was funny. But yeah, um, I'm super excited to start all these new challenges and these games. If you guys see any challenges that you like, check the description down below.